Boy. Let me turn that down a little. 
What's up? What's up? What's up? Uh, let me switch off of um, uh, that. Let me wake Photoshop back up. Come on. Come on, my silly little Photoshop. Get over here. Increase that a little bit. Why not? Hi! It's... It's about a hot minute. Not really, honestly. It's just I meant to stream yesterday and I didn't. Because I was tired. And uh, I know I the last time I streamed was Monday. And lord knows... My schedule's about to be royally fucked this next week. Well, these next two weeks. This next month. Like... I'm sorry, I'm like... I literally just searched on Spotify. I was like, save for Twitch and collected the first playlist. And it was like, if you do upload your VODs to YouTube, it will get content ID'd, but it won't like harm it or anything. You'll just have ads on it. And I'm like, you know what? I stopped caring about that. I'm fine with that. Uh, so I will sacrifice uh, content ID for the funky, funky music. Also, if ads start playing, I have to mute Spotify. Also, Christmas is, uh, is banned. Christmas is banned. Don't talk to me about Christmas or Christmas songs. I don't want to. I don't want to hear it. Spotify. What did I just say about your ads? Anyway, I I guess quiet time for Spotify for a little bit. But uh, but yeah, no. Uh, I'm gonna be so busy. Specifically in October, but like I'm gonna be super busy the two weeks of like this last week of August and then the first week of September and then and then I'm I guess I'm just gonna work to offset whatever costs these next few because I'm going to a convention so whatever the heck and like two friends are coming down uh, and staying we're all staying at like my grandma's house it's like, it's it's gonna be a time. It's gonna be a good time too. I I know for a fact it will be. But um, I'm sorry. I just I was here. We can unmute Spotify now. It's finally done with ad time. The ad times are long. It plays like three ads. But I saw Slyleaf instead of Flyleaf, and I thought that was funny. Um, so, so yeah, I'm I'm just gonna be super busy, super slammed. I'm not also gonna be by my computer for a week, so that means like no digital art, no gaming on my PC. I probably won't even be gaming because I I share my Switch with my little sibling, and I don't want to take it away from them. So I probably won't even really be gaming at all. And I don't have games on my phone. My phone is crap. It's uh, only good for checking my Discord messages and my TikTok and my Instagram. That's all I use it for. Um, and then of course Googling, uh, hey, my knee hurts. What's a good stretch for my knee? <laughs> Cause you know, I'm an artist. I wouldn't be an artist without everything hurting all the time, perpetually. We're in, we're in a state of agony. A very unique state of agony. Just like uh, AO3 authors. They're in a unique state of, a unique state of agony. Oh my god. Quote knows that. Quite? Quote? His YouTube, the name of his YouTube channel is Quote, but on uh, Twitch he's Quite. With a K-W. Not with a Q. It sounds like a Q noise, but it's not. He's funny. Um, but yeah, no, I at least wanted to stream, I, I don't know, I'll be featuring in a stream tomorrow, which I'm very excited for because it's for Splatfest. I'm very excited. I'm very excited for that one. I'm going to pick up the roller again, 
and I'm gonna watch my friends convince me to buy another Splatoon game, despite me buying two and then never playing it. Because I didn't have Nintendo Online at the time, I didn't realize you required it to play the game. And when I finally did get it, I forgot about the fact that I had Splatoon, and no one really played. But, um... But yeah, now now I'll have people to play with, so I I, I might just shell out for that game. It's gonna it's gonna be a time for sure, for sure, for sure. However, with with all that said, I have a couple of goals. One of them being I wanted a new model. For October, I wanted like a spooky model, so like something like what I have right now, but like maybe just like adding a few spooky elements, like or just extra elements, since really only my mouth moves right now. And I thought like, huh, the eyebrows can move a little up, maybe the little hair dangle can move, but also my neck could open up into a second mouth, or I could have a third eye. Something spooky, you know? Something Eldritchian. I have no idea what any of this music is. So I'm either gonna love the song or hate the song. I didn't love the beginning of this, but it can redeem itself. I'll let it. Hmm. Hmm. Has it redeemed itself? Muffin. I like the voice, I'm not sure if I like the beat. A lot of these... Like, it's the same person, so you can tell they have the same style. I don't know if I like their style. It's good. I can tell from a... Like, a... Um, a musical standpoint, it is good music. I just don't know if it's my kind of music. Uh... Candy crush on you. Okay, you know what? You know what? That was funny. You can stay. But this one time. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I, wa I wanted to make an October model, but then I opened up my Photoshop file because I was like, oh, I kind of want to draw that. And then I kind of wanted to do my Verde Oha ending art so I can never think about Verde Oha again. And then I have like... I want I want to draw like a meme thing for Verde Oha as well, um, and then I have my my uh, randomized blue art block. I want I vaguely almost decided I want to play that right. I I don't know what happened. I opened the Photoshop file and I saw the little the yellow sketch. I saw that and I was like, huh? I forgot I tried to make my channel a persona. Because, despite me not really claiming to be a furry, I've had many, 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 many personas. Most of them being foxes, my main ones. Uh, like, at first it was an orange one, and then I was like, my favorite color is red. Why don't I just be a fully, like, bright red fox? Why don't I just do that? It's art. I can be bright red if I want to. Fuck realism. I don't have to be orange. So I, I changed. Um, so I became like red, white, and black. And I was like, this is the best color palette. And that's pro and it was this very simple character design. That's probably why I liked my persona so much. She really only had the one distinctive feature of, and then she was a girl for a, the longest time. Um, even now I think of her as a girl just cause I created her with her being a girl in mind. Which may be why I stopped drawing her a long time ago, because I, I stopped identifying with her. Um, but like, she was like this, she had like these little mittens, um, that had like, they were kind of like, had a lightning design, they were very spiky. Uh, and then the paws, um, the actual like, uh, finger part of the paws, 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 were, um, red. So it was like fingerless mittens. And then they were had very sharp 
edges at the end. Uh, and then she had like the normal, like black ears, white half white muzzle, uh, white belly uh, that only went down to like a little circle. And then um, this feels like a sonic stage, like a very tropical. What it, what am I listening to? That's gonna happen a lot. My ADHD is absolutely going to. It's Monkey Ball. No wonder. That one's not probably gonna resonate with me. Well, it's only a minute 40 and we're already 30 seconds in. I'll let it play. But, uh, yeah. Let me also do my little Discord thingy so my chat is alive with the sound of music. But, yeah. So, uh, she was my persona for the longest time. Because before that, it was like an orange fox with a little wisp of gray hair. And I don't know why, but I really liked the fact that she had a lightning-y wisp of gray hair. I was like, people don't generally put gray in their design. They don't like gray. I like being different. I don't know. <laughs> Idiot kid that I am. Or was. Like, man, well, still am. But, uh... But I stopped using that design. I moved on to the red, black, and white one for the longest time. And then I just stopped drawing her all together and everything that she was connected to. And I, every once in a while, will go back and draw the outline of her. But then I'll be like, eh, this just feels like a fox character I have now. Not really my fursona. And, uh, I actually resonate with a very old Sona design that I made back, like, in my Tumblr era. And so I only posted it to Tumblr, and I need to redraw this particular Sona. But it was essentially a shape-shifting robot, like an organic... Th th okay, bear with me. I know organic robot sounds stupid. Hear me out. It's like a robot built out of an organic material that could shapeshift. But like it had a base. And then it would just build upon that base. So essentially it would still have the same like types of hairstyles that I would have and retain. And would generally um, stick to like, certain color palettes, even though the robotic palette was way different than the palette that I would use for any Sona of mine. I would always use red, black, and white, but the robot was, like, white, blue, and teal. I don't know why I did that. I think maybe just because I was, like, this is kind of ethereal. But essentially, it was like, oh, I the reason I have all these Sonas to connect them together... I'll just have a shape-shifting thing. And that so far has resonated with me the most out of all my Sonos. And I think the reason I haven't redrawn them is because I'm not super into robots. And I don't know how I would make that work. And like, I just kind of want there to be some kind of weird supernatural element. Where I am just straight up a shapeshifter. I have no real form. I am whatever the fuck I want to be. Which, uh... I actually, for my channel lore, in case I ever wanted to change my look somewhat dramatically, not super dramatically, I can't just change my entire state of being. I mean, I could, but then people won't recognize me. Uh, other than in voice, you know, I'll be rebranded in a sense, and I, I don't want to do that too often, but I am a person who gets very easily bored of being the same because I in my real life am forced to be the same every single day and I hate it and so I make my dramatic changes through my character designs usually which is why I get so easily bored of things I've already drawn before and I design new characters and then I'll throw them away and I'll design new ones and then throw them away and my toy house is full of old designs that I really want to redraw and like rework and we like <laughs> um, like I don't know 
there's a, there's a lot. There's a lot I want to do. Uh, but one of my like for a personal persona, I don't I don't know if I'll ever have a, another sticking one. I'll I always use my fox as like they're the closest thing to a persona I still have. I guess I'll use them. And it's not their design, it's just the, the ideals that I made them with initially. Which is why I feel kind of sad that I don't like them as much. Because I love them in design. And, like, their colors and how basic they are and how easy they are to draw. But, like... Oh, man, the, the, con the conceptual design is what... Um, and it's not even like they have any, um, like they don't have any distinctive markings to where like, oh, this represents X part of my life and I don't like that part of my life anymore. So it's like, I just take that away and it's fine. It's just, I look at them and I see assigned female at birth. I, I created you with feminine qualities somewhat in mind. Not feminine, but like tomboy qualities not actual you are you have no gender qualities <laughs> which sometimes I would draw them like that just because even I think even as a kid I knew gender was a construct created by the government I do not I do not like gender gender is stupid uh, but yeah no like I'm sorry I'm not drawing back to B ah! Spotify! Spotify! The Honda ad caught me off guard. I was listening to this nice poppy music that reminded me of Kirby. Anyway, anyway. Back on topic. I, I see this little rat thing. Because, um... The... Uh, the quote-unquote lore for my little, my little clown. My little clown babe is they are in, uh, because I love shapeshifting things, so they are an interdimensional shapeshifter, which would explain any model changes I tend to make, at least, like, major body modification things. That would just be an attribute of me shapeshifting. I shapeshift. That is a thing I do. And then... As far as like the clothing goes, it's just different clothes. That's that that's not a part of me. I just I change clothes. This is my work uniform. I I I need to draw my normal civilian outfit and also me without the makeup in case I ever want that. The hair the hair is always going to be split though, which is why I'm like I'm always going to have the split motif. I I want that to stay and I kind of... The hair color is always going to stay the same, more or less. Or at least I want it to. However, like I said, I really, really like red, white, and black as a color palette. Ooh. Ooh. Spotify ads are done. That's going to get real annoying real fast. Oh, this sounds Christmassy. Ugh. No. Okay, yeah, there is quite a bit of Christmas music sprinkled in here. That's valid, I guess. I know other people like Christmas. I don't. At least, not Christmas music. Christmas music drives me nuts because of retail. I don't, I don't even want to get into that. But yeah, as far as my scrimbly goes, I'm a ticket taker at a circus. So sometimes I'm a clown, sometimes I'm not, even on the job. However, the circus itself, I am an interdimensional being. The circus is also an interdimensional circus. It is catering to humans at the moment. It doesn't always cater to humans. So occasionally you will see the odd creature here and there. Namely, uh, the trash cans of the circus, and even like the the like food area will sometimes be inhabited by a strange creature called a raccoon. Not a raccoon, a raccoon, 
which is essentially just a mixture of a rat and a raccoon. I had this concept uh, for a while, so like, cause, cause I wanted to create the VTuber lore before, like as I made the VTuber, so I could include stuff and then I could reveal it later and do stuff with it. I probably won't be able to do much with it until I actually have an audience. Either way, I don't really care about that. Uh, like, I kind of do. But even if I don't get to do anything with it, it's nice to have. I like it. It's a theme. It helped me pick my name for Verde Oha. That's why I was Ratcoon. I just named myself after the Garbage Cats. And so, um, so I, this sketch, I remember thinking, I want to make a furry version <laughs> of my, my, my clown. And the furry version, since they base, um, the clown makeup is based off the raccoons, like, kind of, based off the raccoons, because it's, like, got a raccoon mask thing going on. Uh, because the raccoons, as I, as I conceptualize them, in my head. They look mostly like raccoons, but they do have some rat-like features and qualities. So, as far as looks go, I'd say they, they lean like body shape of a rat, but size and like markings and colors generally of a raccoon. Um, so, like, they have the mask, they have the stripy tail, um, I can't ever decide if I want it to be fluffy, but I do want it to be long and, like, semi-prehensile, <laughs> because rats wrapping their little tail around thing is cute. Um, both raccoons and rats kind of have the same ish ear shape it's just rats it's a little more round and they have no fur on it it's much more naked so i'm thinking like just round but with fur as like a nice middle ground and you know i i conceptualized a whole thing of a raccoon and then i went what if i just made that the persona be like this is an interdimensional thing and that that is what represents me as a person. I am this trash mammal, this interdimensional trash being. And so that was, uh, but then like I hadn't actually given myself like an official ratcoon design. So I was like, damn, I could, I could switch this. And obviously you can tell I made this way too far into rat territory. I remember not fully liking it. I was like, this is a good start but I don't quite like it. Oh boy. I just, I just saw a Cabal tweet that's like, we're taking over Twitch. We're taking it over! The VTuber takeover. Oh no. Prepare for the takeover. Oh god. One week. Hundreds of VTubers. All kinds of characters. Starts Monday. What? Like, are they officially endorsing them? I don't know exactly what's going on, but I, I do like I do like whatever is going on. I can say I'm happy with whatever is going on. I am content. I'm sitting in the soup of life very contently. Alright. Alright, anyway, so back to art. I also, I have my Spotify little music thing. However, one, it's annoying to constantly stop for ads. Two, I need to like look up 
playlists that don't annoy the shit out of me, but are also safe for Twitch. And now that I've stopped caring about content IDing, uh, I think it's a lot. I think it's a lot easier. I don't. I squint at this particular playlist. I don't. I don't think it's my jam. It's something cute that I could listen to once. But I don't think I could listen to this. Like, if I worked in a store and this was playing constantly, like just this playlist played on a loop, I, I couldn't jam to it. If they did, like, an Arctic Monkeys loop, then yeah, I could jam to that. So here, what I'm gonna do... We're, we're gonna we're gonna pause that stop the music oh hi puppet bow thank you for coming to the circus welcome welcome take a seat uh i haven't started drawing yet despite being 30 minutes in shame on me shame on me uh but i'm trying to i'm trying to figure out do i want music do i look up a different playlist or do I put on random YouTube videos? My ADHD says music. However, oh boy, oh boy, is music uh, going to be an issue for me? I'm in one of those moods where I can't decide what the heck I want to listen to. I definitely need to look up playlists that are safe for Twitch. But I, I, I think I want something... I think I want something that goes a little harder instead of like the the really cute it, w it was like the pull playlist was adorable I don't think that's the vibe I want to be in right now I think I just want to be a little creature I want something a little more chaotic What if I just go through every single playlist? What? Kill Bill the Rapper? What? Rav. Interesting. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Only one way to find out, baby! Whoa! This is a better vibe, but I don't know if this is the vibe! Um, hmm. I let the other playlist marinate for a little while. I might let this one marinate. Hmm. A stasis. A stasis. A stasis. I do like the the picture. The next one's called Viridian. That one seems promising. Okay. All right. We're going to let this we're going to let this uh we're going to let the pot steam boil a little. We'll see if this uh keeps up. I love the emotes in chat. I love Popcat. Popcat emotes are like my favorite. Anyway, back to my plans. I promise I'll start drawing soon. I'm just, I'm trying to figure out what is the best combination of a rat and a raccoon. Because that's apparently what I've decided that I wanted. squint at myself. <laughs> oh, my little brain cells are like, pick up the pick up the tablet pen, nerd. Start drawing, you nerd. And I'm like, ah. Oh. Ah, it's gonna be like a rat raccoon. So like, uh, you know, ratatouille mixed with a little RJ. Except not at all. Well, Ratatouille, actually. He's cute. Remy. He's adorable. And of course, the official week of VTubing. I am going to be on vacation. Love that. I just now realized that. Oops. Well, 
Let's see. Okay. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna uh, ADHD. Oh God. This is not the right page. Where's my stream manager? I'll put that on my laptop. You can go that way. To the side. I open Photoshop. I pick up the pen. I put it down. I draw a few lines. And then I undo. There we go. That's that's how you get the, the grease going. Let's see. Like, I generally like... I generally like this ear shape, but it's a bit too big for a raccoon or a rat. So I don't think we're gonna continue with that one. Sometimes you gotta know when to quit. Sometimes you gotta know. I don't think this is the vibe. I let it marinate a little bit. I don't think this is the vibe. Let me see Twitch safe vibes. Is this a safe vibe? I can't even play the first song. Why is the first song in limbo? Warriors from League of Legends? Hold on, this one. Wilbur suits in this one. What the heck? All right, all right, be prepared. The first few songs look chill, but then it it looks like it gets it it looks like it gets intense. I can't tell. This first one's all right though. It's it's cute. And if you start hearing the Spotify ad break, I'm so sorry. I will mute it as soon as I can. Because <laughs> uh, that's just, that's how it be on this bitch of an earth. Let's see, generally for like a rat ear shape, you do like the little that, where it's like a little curved ear. And it's like hairless, but then you add like a little hair at the end. Because it has to connect to the, the head. Sort of like this. But then a raccoon ear is more like... Like an... almost like a cat shape. Which is more appealing to me as a person. I like the rat shape. But I also like the raccoon shape. Oh god, this is gonna take forever. I can't even decide on an ear. Buckle up, fellas. Buckle up. New layer. It's gonna keep the same hair as my current little scrimply. I know that much. So let me sketch my little funky hairstyle out. Or at least part of it. That's not it. Goes huh, huh, nope. Huh, and huh, a little chunkier. And then, well actually it's not chunkier, it's thinner. I was wrong. <gasps> You're not wrong. You know what? It does feel like a really weird chinchilla. I do want to combine, because one of the reasons I want to use Raccoon is the stripey element. I love stripes, but also the mask. The mask is nice. It re it's vaguely reminiscent of clown makeup. And then just rat, I just like rats. I, I think they're funny. I think they're neat. And both of them dig out of the garbage. And are misunderstood creatures. I 
presents laundry crew. Mm. I don't know if I want the oh, hair to... Ah! Oh, ah! The ads! No! no! I'm gonna... We're gonna hear 50 billion Tide ads, and I'm so sorry about that one. I could turn on my... My little Twitch... What is this called? It's like Soundwave? Soundstripe? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> do we stick with the Wilbur suit or do I go to Soundstripe and I die? Considering I don't have Spotify Premium. I'll find a way to upgrade to Premium and then maybe use Spotify. Hmm. Oh, but Max is in here. We're in, eh. The playlist shit's annoying, but you know, it is what it is. I operate on a budget, and this budget does not include Spotify. Premium, I mean. So let's see, I'm going to try this with the... Eh, a little too big. And then... Huh. Hold on. I might be onto something. I might be on to something. I really like this. I've never used this shape before. Let's see. I don't know if I want it to loop down like that, though. I don't think I do. Spotify, are you done being stupid? Oh, Spotify does not like my tablet pen. I will switch to my mouse. Alright, there we go. Music is back. No need to worry. I think that much of the ear is good. I like this. Don't quote me on that one. So far, so good though. It's turning out, it's turning out lovely. I'm gonna continue with it until I hate it. Cause I could do this, but that gets rid of that weird little triangle shape that I like. Unless. It's basically still there. I do kind of like it. Let's see. This little swoop was definitely designed with a human ear in mind, not an animal one. So I might need to get rid of it all together. And like... Or just... No, that's not... No. not horrible. Let me do without it for a little bit. Let me also, I'm afraid, so let me start a new layer. This is the human shape. So it looks fine with the human shape, right? Huh. 
However, if I decide, cause like, I don't know if I want it to be like human shape and I just paste the animal features on like a lot of others do, or if I want it to be like, like, uh oh, here's a muzzle. It's way more animal. I'm kind of a sucker for muzzles. Now, this one is more of like a rat muzzle, so it would have like little, little rat nose. And like the little whiskers. Whoa. The song didn't do the thing I thought it was going to do. Which is interesting of a song to do. Let's see. And then probably have like an eye there and then an eye there. That's generally how my, my style is very like western kids cartoon where it's got like very simple shapes just like a few circles Do like a normal thing like that. I can make like a little chipped tooth, like how some rats have, where like, well, most of rats actually, like non domestic rats at least, they'll have like one tooth is slightly bigger than the other. It's charming. We like a little asymmetry in our design. I could do that. Because I have sharp teeth in the original, which... Uh, my little my little clown scrimbly does have sharp teeth, but not like super sharp. And I could still make a few, like... I can still make the smile... Like... I can, I can still it like that and just have like a weird little gap right there hello radio what's up I'm trying to I'm trying to slowly figure out what the hell I want out of my life if I'm going to if I'm going to commit to furry if I'm gonna commit to furry it's gonna look nice This is the Warriors theme. Hold on. Not Warriors, like... This is... This is League of Legends. Yeah, this is the non-Imagine Dragons Warriors. Huh. It's got two-way and Ada. Ada highs. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. I kind of like it. It's kind of funky. Ready for the weekend? I'm not. Well, I'm ready for tomorrow. Then I have like a morning on Sunday, which I'm not super ready for, but it's there. Uh, things are certainly going. I 
know if I want it to like stay like that. Or if I want it to span the whole face, just like the face paint. I think that would be kind of cool. Persona hard. I actually do kind of like where this is going, so we're gonna we're gonna merge down, crunch it a little, because this is just a sketch. Who cares how much we crunch it? And we continue. Get the little balloon animal. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. I like Jack, this. Whatever this is. No more. I want more of this. I like this song. Don't you come back Let's see. Oh man. So many decisions, so little time. Uh, uh, what did my arm do? There, got that. Because I've got my little wispies of hair. I'm going to move this little wispy over just to match my neck a little more. Let's see, because it's it's either this face shape that we're continuing, or we do a version where it's like more of a triangle. No, this, uh, the more I try to define it, the worse it's getting. Let me start over. And we do short muzzle. Which, from the side, would be like... Versus the current shape I have, which is just... I do like this shape more. This looks kind of like a like a weird dog. Don't you come back no more. I do I do like the direction I'm heading in currently. This looks like a I don't know why I just thought of a like this to that. It reminded me of those what are, what are those books called? Animorphs. It's been a while. I think I only read like one Animorph book in my life. <laughs> And it was certainly something. Alright. So I'm fine with this for now. I'm gonna shoot you right down. Right off the end. Boom, 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 boom. Let me shrink it a little more. Move it up a little more. And then do my funky little shapes. So we're gonna have turn the opacity on that down. We're gonna have shoulders a little more down. Boom 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 boom. 
let's see. Probably a more relaxed pose. Since I'm just designing, it really doesn't need to be anything special. I just need to show off all the features. Here I kind of went for like a rhombus and then like another rhombus and I kind of like connected them with like these weird almost like a corset kind of deal I did like a weird hourglass but a very sharp hourglass I don't think I want to do that I think I want to go for a different body shape because like I really love fur I really love, I love drawing my stupid, simplistic, just, that's why I love drawing hair on a person, because it's basically just human fur. It's the closest thing we're gonna get. there to be shape. No, no, no. When you unlock the power of Yeah, Spotify. <laughs> Why? Hold on, Spotify's got to go through its bullshit. Let's see, did we just listen to Boom Boom or Takeover? I don't actually know. I got lost in the sauce for a second. Oh well, it'll play like two or three ads, so. For now, you just get me silently contemplating. How round am I going to try to go? Do I just want to be, like, normal? Or do I want to try something different? Because, like, I don't know. I feel like maybe I could make shit a little round. Body proportions are weird. <laughs> want to take a break from the ads? Do you want to take a break from the ads? Subscribe to Spotify Premium. I... Uh, you know what? We could go more out. I am not a coward. Plus, I am not a small boy. I am pretty large. <laughs> so, um... It could be reflected in the fursona. We are building the skeleton, and that is really all we're doing right now. Takeover is the next song. Okay, cool. are gonna be weird for a minute. Bear with me, bear with me. I can't make it too round. Cause like, a belly, like, like two 
two round is like a pregnancy belly, but like a normal belly has like a sag to it. I like this song. It's taking over my brain, that's what it's doing. Is this the one with Max? Hold on. Because this is a Max, but... It has Max in it. Jeremy McKinnon. Of a day to remember. Yeah. Okay. And who else? Henry. I don't think I know Henry. Oh, God. My house is about to get a little loud. Excuse me as I mute. Welcome to the Discord, Puppet Bow. I apologize for my silence. Like I said, my my housemates can get a little loud. And they just arrived home. I thought they were going to stay out later. Uh, I just need them to settle down for a little bit. They, they're they putting up food in the fridge. Once they settle down, I'll, I'll start talking again. I think they're settling down now. Let's see. People change like the tides in the ocean. At least I think or am I dead wrong? Foot on the break, got the light on notice. I said and wait until the next song. Ah, I'm doing fifty billion things I shouldn't be doing. All right, all right, back to drawing. There's the skeleton. Part of me wants to make an actual pose, and then the other half of me wants to make like a rough sheet pose, where it's like very flat, but it shows all the features, which is probably what I should do. So like, like have have that little arm do do that thing. Have it do that. Let's see. I think that hand's a little big, but it's actually not a bad hand. I usually don't draw the best hands. 
Oh my god, it's perfect. I'll never do that again. Life isn't quite what I thought I'd be When I was a kid on VOIP I thought when I get older i marry her like I told her Now I'm 26 and I work in an office Nine till five's not the best, I'll be honest If I could change a single thing I'd make it me and not him He's in your bed, I'm in your Twitch chat I've heard this song before. I've heard this song before. It's not my favorite, but I have heard. Oh, premium. You with your. <sighs> Do I join premium straight up on stream just because I get a little annoyed? Oh, hey, there's an ad for this electrolyte drink that, like, we sell at work. <laughs> I'm like, oh, we sell that at work to, like, everything. What is the cost of Spotify Premium? $10 a month? Ew. Like, if you use it all the time, it pays for itself, perhaps? I don't think that's worth it. I don't think so. <laughs> Not me looking up ways to get a free Spotify account. Specifically free legal ways. Unless you use ad interruptions, unlimited skips, unlike with a free. I get unlimited skips on desktop. I never got the unlimited skips thing. Like, definitely on the phone, you get limited skips. But uh, here I can skip as much as I want. Let's see. Okay, downloading songs requires premium. Can listen to it at 320k BPS. Interesting. Interesting. Keyboards like my heart. It shines in RGB. CD quality. Oh boy. What is wrong with me, but I'm scared to stop. You also get the Spotify listening party on Discord. Interesting. Unless they to be your high definition. So all my time on social media is in the state that I'm in. Twitter feeds light my brain Cause I have it on dark mode Memorize everything she say So I can use it to guess her passcode Let's She's see I'm not sure if I want to listen to Wilbur soon He's got a vibe And it's not bad We're gonna skip him a lot of this is really summery, road trippy music, I feel like, but like more chill. Like there's poppy road trip music and then there's like the chill, um, like the, like the chill I guess is more like you're sitting in traffic versus the really poppy energetic, like you're cruising down an almost empty road at a high speed. This is, uh, there's... There's some traffic. And you're just kind of like halfway to a nap. I've heard this song before. Hold on. Tender breeze brush against my knees on a song. 
Give me one second. I've got to figure something out. Turn my head to meet your sun-kissed face In this quiet place I can give you all my time I know I'm not the only one But I can't imagine nothing else Okay, a uh, roommate came in, not really a roommate, housemate, uh, came in and gave me a pretzel. So that's why I was muted, sorry. Alright, alright, back to drawing, back to drawing. Something. Ah! Quack! I don't know why I feel the need to, to do that every single time. It's like something in my neurodivergent brain just goes quack. Quack! It's not as bad as I usually draw hands. And you know what? I'm happy enough with that. Well, it's not even just the quack. I think like, well, then again, it's mostly the quack, yeah. But like, there's a lot of the noises. I'll hear them and I'll just like, ah! And then I'll repeat them. <laughs> Out of like, confusion and fear. Fear fusion. My brain goes, you could make them fatter. And you know what? My brain is right. Hold on, hold on. Undo, undo, undo.
legs, I've got a belly. So why not be representative? Why do we want to just draw skinny? Skinny is out. At least, like, if you're skinny, draw your persona skinny. I'm not skinny. I don't know why I pretend to be. I am thick. I'm bulky. I need it to carry around those 40 cases of water all day. that under layer real quick. That's the spine. I think I like this. Oh god, if you merge it down to layers that aren't at a hundred percent. It's even less than 100%. Cool. Okay. No matter what, this is going to turn out darker. I don't know if I... I don't know if I want like this kind of a thing, where it's got segments and stripes. I don't know if I want it to be furry or not is my problem. Like, cause over here. I have my little skinless rat tail, but then if I add a little fur, it makes it a little more interesting, and I could probably bend it at different angles and draw it better. Because mm. the reason on a rat it's skinless is to, uh, because they have to keep it out of like water and garbage and other things just to keep them from weighing them down. I'm thinking form over function though at this point. I'm like, me want draw fur. So I think me get draw fur. I'll have like little fur things, sort of like Do I want little- those look like hearts. That's cute, but that's not my vibe. circus tent. I think having a little circus tent would actually be really cute. Oh, putting the paw little things too far down. I know a rat doesn't have them, but a raccoon does. Therefore, I'm utilizing them.
Let's see, so yeah, for the hair behind it, it'll be like... Like that. Which is Gucci. Alright, we're squishing. We're squishing. Because I'm getting too close to the bottom. This is how I would normally draw, like, a paw, is like, big paw, which, big feet, big paw, big shoes, clown, so like, the temptation to do that, because like, even the rat feet, I made them really big, I don't know if I want rat feet or paws on the bottom. Like it'll either go oh, too much. like a three toed kind of person I usually like just drawing the three because it has that nice symmetry I could do four if I did really big paw it would probably just be the three but if I did then again if I did rat it would oh god I think I like I learned to tune ads out because like I also get them on YouTube so I don't even realize when they're happening I'm starting with the same shape again. And that's still too big. So that would be more of the the rat foot. I don't know if I want the claws to be the whole thing. I kind of like them being the whole thing because that like that's kind of a segment than a segment. Let me see if I can, if I can marry these concepts together a little more. No, oh, God, no, creative cloud. Let's see. For some reason, I want to start skipping ahead because the Kai Dream stuff is really, really. Cute. But I want to see. Let's see, that's Atwood. That's that one. Lily Peach is in this one. Derby Cat, Derby Cat, Peachy, MX. MXM Tune? Hold on, hold on.
Okay, no, this is a really, really. Let me skip ahead. If I told you just how I felt, but I can't help it. I'm falling for you. Okay, I'm not in a chill mood, but this is a good song. Now, the next one. Rocket League? Okay. Rocket League and Monster Cat. Interesting. This feels a little better. Do I know Lovejoy? I see a song on here that I'm like, hmm, is this actually Twitch safe? I don't actually know. Because it's called Sex Cells. So go. And just have a little stubby feet. Got a little stubby animal crossing feet. Hold on. I'm working with the stub idea for a little bit. They're very, like, cat-like in a way. Because, like, both a rat and raccoon tend to have the bigger... Uh, the more I look at the paws, I'm like, no, I don't, I don't want it round. Like, I want to marry these two right here. So we're gonna do something like that. So Ah, it's the sideways angle that's killing me. I used to be really good at like Chuck E. Cheese looking shape. I don't know what I've created. Charles Entertainment Cheese. Of the the connection. Hold on. 
Hold on, I'm gonna make it better. I'm gonna make it better. Give me just a second. These are like too far apart. problem I have with this. Hello? Where am I in this playlist? Hold on, I want to play their other song. This beat is reminiscent of something else. Also, I'm at the end of the playlist. Frick. I'm like very, very close to it at least. So. I've played that one. I've played that one. I've played that one. DMCA free and safe for streaming. Caravan Palace is safe for streaming? Lemon Demon is safe for streaming? Hold on. Th this playlist has everything I want. This playlist is... This song is perfect for the furry stream. You know what I just thought of? The original feet? They had the little, little paw design. I didn't even think about that. We're like, we also have to make the bottom of the paw. So having this weird lizard looking shape is not ideal for me. The three toe is at least more simple. more like a flower than a circus on the defeat. Trying to get this to read is going to be a bit weird, isn't it? weird Chuck E. Cheese feet, which I kind of do want to. That means these weird little raptor claws gotta go. Or at least, yes I know no pixels woo.
I love this song. I've completely abandoned the pretzel next to me. Oh god. Lord knows what's going to happen to this pretzel if I don't need it now. Now this looks more like a bird. The way that they're like so spread out. Oh, it's sonic music. Let's see. We're actually gonna skip ahead to Bubblegum KK. I love it here. Day five of drawing feet. When will when will I when will I stop perishing? Okay, so that's that one's a little better. I need to be a little more flat, I think. And it might help read a little bit. Let me zoom in. And start cutting places and moving them around. Come on to something. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere, guys. I promise. Sometimes a messy sketch is just a sign that you took a while to get where you were, but damn, you really got there. And that's the real accomplishment. I also really love messy sketches. I love messy line art, I just love being messy. The world is so perfect, like, let, let me be messy. Right now at T-Mobile, the network with oh. the uh. What's the next song? Coconut Mall! I refuse to be coconut mauled! Thank you. The ads actually did me a favor at that point. <laughs> I've listened to Coconut Mall too many times. Alright, I'm gonna start. Let me. Yeah. I don't think the human face is gonna fit. Okay, so all of these. I'm gonna put into. I'm just gonna name this folder Ratcoon Attempts and just move all the failed layers that I have uh, that I've hid. I'm gonna put them in there. I'm keeping this one out as a reference because uh it's my it was my initial idea. I actually went through with it kind of. I will say one thing I actually kind of miss that I think I'm going to add is my my little scrimbly has the little 
Well, not little. Big bushy eyebrows. There we go. Big eyebrows. Do 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 Don't mind me casually getting that stuck in my head. And now it is time for Lemon Demon. I don't think all Oh my god, two trucks is in here. I was like, I don't think all of Lemon Demon. It would make sense that he would make his stuff DMCA free. A lot of like creators, like just to get their stuff out there, they'll put it out. And then even once they get big, they're just like, I'm not gonna fight people who use this. Like, I don't know. Oh, I love the song so much. This is the ultimate showdown. The ultimate destiny between the bad guys and explosions. This is one of my first Lemon Demon songs. This is a gateway. <laughs> I found it was like that Newgrounds anime, like Flash animation that was quote unquote. You could have said it was bad, and but for like the time, it was pretty damn good, especially considering only one guy animated it, and it had so many characters and so much movement. Let's see, okay, one thing I do have in the original rack design that I need to add before I forget. I've got little... like, hold on. <laughs> what does a raccoon look like? Care Bear Stay, this is the ultimate showdown. The ultimate destiny. stripes there that I might keep. Into the crotch of Indiana Jones. I love that part. Oh wait, hold on. I put those little things... Oh wait, I put them on their own layer. Oh no, I put them on the layer with the rat. Damn it! Alright. This is the layer I want. In a bloodstained sweater. I could have like a little I, I kind of do want that. I think I want the mask to also... Yeah, I want the mask to do a little dip. And... I don't want to add too many things, because if I start getting fancy with it, Lord knows I won't want to draw this design. What is with this film noir jazz? All I want to listen to now is Lemon Demon. Ugh, what, what, what has this playlist done to me? I know there's more Lemon Demon in here. There's also more KK Slater. I 
There's also Toby Fox. Oh, there's a song called Gravity Falls. I love Gravity Falls. There's also Who Killed XIX, which is a good... The Wii Shop channel. Hold on. This is my jam. Oh wait, this is a remix. Oh wait. We shop, not that we menu. Okay. No, this is a remix. Okay. I'm gonna look up real quick. See, it says Neil is usually okay with people using his music since YouTube doesn't tend to copyright ID his stuff. So most people are saying uh you can you can play Plum and Demon. So here's here's what we're going to do. Oh god. The ads. Let me let those play. We're going to let them play. And then what we're going to do is we are going to listen to Lemon Demon. Because, oh boy, Lemon Demon is one of my favorite. You're going to hear me actually singing. I love Lemon Demon. Also, where's my raccoon references? <laughs> yeah, actual body of the raccoon, it's mostly just like a white coat with a lot of black layered on top. And it looks gray from afar. So that's going to be a little boring. The tummy, the tummy has got a little something, something like the neck. We can probably have a little, a little something, something. And then like have that. I think I might just, I usually round out the tummy. However, however. I rarely have characters that have the that part peeking into the thighs. So I might do that, just because it would be interesting, and it's not like anyone's gonna see it anyway. Ahahahahaha. Where? Lemon Demon? Give me your top songs. <laughs> Turning it up on my end. Not for y'all, just for me. This is my jam. I'm a fiend for Lemon Demon. I love it so much. <laughs> Let's see. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep all of these markings, but I think so far the design... I think this is fine. I'm gonna... 
where's the you? Okay, what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to erase some of the lines I have. Yeah, no, Lemon Demon, you know, Radio Demon and Lemon Demon have a lot in common, uh, nomenclature-wise. That was, uh, not intentional. Let me put this on the sketch layer. And then I'll color in those lines. So like this this little smile, I'm gonna move a little further away. Just like you. I'm also gonna erase a little balloon animal real quick. that's completely extra. Ah! I'll add it later. Don't worry. He'll come back. Oh right, I can't line without doing the clothes. I need to figure out clothes. That is a thing I have to do. On your AM radio! AM radio! Alright. So I think he was facing that way last time. He's actually, I think, supposed to be more facing this way. He looks so confused. I should probably do the clothes in a different color, shouldn't I? Uh, color overlay. Oh, so bright. Oh, so bright. Oh, why are you so bright? We're gonna do pink. Because why not? Should I do purple? Like a more blue purple? Yeah, no, I like this more blue purple. Uh, the nose ring stays. <gasps> this is also my gateway into Lemon Demon. Uh, the song freaking slaps. <laughs> A little smiley face. Mm -hmm. I've given play. Inside my workshop, behind the old arcade. I actually can't decide. Do I want clothes on my little persona, or should I just be a little, a little creature? I could be both. Cause I could. I 
if I do the work uniform, it'll be like this. And then it hides the fluff, which is like one of the best parts. Unless I just don't have a shirt and I only have the weird little collar and I change the neck from spiky to round. They came from miles away. I don't know if I want cheeks as well. I'm gonna keep them there. Just to remind myself. That's something I might want. Um. Let me ooh, remind myself I have two hair colors. You'd be surprised at how often I might forget such a detail. Let's see. Do I actually have to pull up my other reference? I do. Oh my god. It, it's been a while. Only driving a few kids to madness. Maybe they were predisposed to madness. Who knows? But now they're telling me my days here are gone. this in my drawn assets so I can more easily find it. Even if this is a whip. Or a work in progress, as the artists say. Benching in my face with a crowbar. And then pushing me over. Let's see. I do have rings. I forgot I've got the little pink earrings. You know what, having just the little cuffs would also be kind of funny. Cause it'd be like... And then you just see fur. We just listened to Ultimate Showdown, I'm sorry. As much as I love that song. Got my little cuffs. Should I also put them on the ankles? Now here's here's the problem with that. I'd wanna do it like that. However, that doesn't make sense. It'd have to be like that. It looks better like that, even if it flows better like this. I am a freak, hello, I'm here, waiting in the walls. Alright, we got our little cuffs. Do I bring forth other elements of the design from the original? Or do I? like just having a little rat
drawing the little scrimbly version, I'm, I'm coming to some conclusions. I'm also going to skip the the dramaticness and right into an advertisement. A wild advertisement never fails to strike. Now, if this is truly a stream of mine, I would be replaying a single song. I would find a song and replay it to death. Because that's how I roll. <laughs> However, I I, I don't I don't want to torture everybody with that. I know people like ever-changing things. Not on my pen. The amount of times I think I'm on my pen and I'm not is wild. Okay. Do I play two trucks on stream? I don't think I should. I'll play a mask of my own face instead. Why does it mark this as explicit? Is it because I say fuck? Why is Jaws marked explicit? Hold on. Is it just because he he says like motherfucking shark and all that? I'm confused. I know why two trucks is flagged as explicit. I know for a fact why that one is flagged. I dance with all the bells. You know what? I feel like the nose ring is essential. I'm trying to figure out what's essential. Really, only the neck crown and the the nose ring are essential. I think that adds too much detail to the symbol form. There we go. There's a cute little scribble. Okay, so there should be clothes on the full version, but if I do like a little scrimbly version, which is like cuter, then I could get away with not doing as much. Then again, I... You know what, once I took away the earring, I missed it. <laughs> There's the rings. Oh boy, this song uh, 
defines my college degree. The, the little one. I don't like the little feet. The little hand ones are like okay. For the big one though, it does need the uh... All right, all right. I've been focusing. Think about it this way. Guided evolution. This will be a new breed. Cutting edge, but classic. Fully complementary. Bold and self-sufficient. Symbolizing freedom and, of course, your product. When the logo is finished, then we will unveil it. Seven billion people. Instantly enlightened. Everyone's rebranded. I think honestly those little feet things just replace the shoes. And then I also want them to have the weird split. So I want like one half to be the red color and the other half to be the other color. This might be a lot to do on a character design, but hear me out, I want to do it.
use my colors. So we got Golly. I love how coy this whole song is. Ah, that's a very bright purple. Darken that a little. I'm gonna test it with these colors. I don't think I'm keeping them. Oh, that's not the layer I'm supposed to be on. Go back home and get a bigger boat. That's Quint up in heaven. He's a star now. Actually. Sharks exist in real life. This is gonna be the most sparkly animal if I keep it. This weird color palette. And I don't know if I necessarily want to go for something so bright. Then again, clown behavior. It's alright, it's alright. Oh, this is a really good one. You want me to be nonchalant with screws Look to your eyelids, you new wave of pirates Modify whatever, modify and save it May nothing get rejected, may nothing get infected Do what you do, what you do. But it would have been dope. 
It's all right, it's all right. New nonchalant with screws stuck to your eyelids. You new wave of pirates. Modify whatever, modify and save it. May nothing get in. Is my color palette a little all over the place? Absolutely. Will I fix it? I don't know. I really don't know. Thoughts on Splatoon? Sorry if I saw this a little late. I was focusing. Uh, thoughts on Spotify, Splatoon? No, I don't want to hear your opinions, Raffaella. Or whatever your name is. Raffaella. Do we go through the spirit phone? next because it's got spiral of ants Ooh, it's got pizza heroes yeah no we, we gotta do pizza heroes uh splatoon is a funky little game that i didn't play that much of but it was very fun when i did play it i honestly don't have too many i was i would grind the game purely for the cosmetics until i created a really funky little splat man and then, then I kind of, I kind of stopped. Kind of just, uh, let's see. Jack in the box, gosh darn it, I want to play my Spotify. But yeah, I don't have too many Splatoon thoughts, honestly. Let's look at the content we'll play after the ads. Yeah, they better. There we go. I love this. What are your thoughts on Splatoon Radio? You got any thoughts? I will say, for the first Triple Fest, they didn't choose a very... Like, I'm not, I don't want to say that it wasn't a good theme, but it's not a strong theme, and I don't know if I like that or not. That's probably... One of the only thoughts I have on Splatoon right now is I'm like, why did they choose rock, paper, scissors? That's a weird theme to have. But, like, it's a triple theme, for sure. I feel like... I don't know, I feel like they could have chosen something else for their first, like, the very first one, at least. Eyebrows. <laughs> this color. <laughs> ah! Why did this appear over there? Be gone. It looks like a game you'd play. Okay. Uh, I played one, if that uh, tells you anything. I grinded on one. Two I couldn't play because I didn't have the online at the time. And by the time I had online, no one else was really playing it. And so I kind of fell out of it, despite having bought the game. So I basically bought it for no reason. And I, I still 
it's one of those purchases that I lament because I so badly wanted to play it but then it was kind of ruined because you required Nintendo Online and I didn't have it at the time the only reason I have it now is uh, because I'm on a friend's like they have a family plan for online and they're like I can add like 10 people on this thing so I really don't care who I add on here and so I was able to get on them You know what? Soft fuzzy man. Oh, this one's kind of funny. As your father's, as your father's a good funny song. Ah, no, brush. Hey, turn your techno music down. Your grandpa's coming by tonight. I don't want to hear it when we're having macaroni, we'll be polite. <laughs> the song is so ridiculous that I, I find it very fun. He doesn't understand. As your father, I expressly forbid it. I'm your dad. I'm your dad. What happened to my medicine? The stuff I took to keep my hair. It's obvious you stole it and you sold it on the street because you don't even care. If I lose my hair. Yeah, that friend is a godsend, as far as the Nintendo Online goes. Because man, did I use that Nintendo Online for Sword and Shield so much. I'm used to not having uh, online features usually, but it was really nice to have. It, it is really nice to have. And by proxy, I think my sibling... No, I think it's only my account that has it, but my sibling, I think, did a family share plan with someone else because I told them about what I did, and I think their friends figured out something for them. That or they borrow mine, I really don't know. <laughs> it's not like it makes too much of a difference, as long as we're allowed to do things. I'm your dad. As your father likes personally forbidden. Okay, the song's about to end. Let me skip I Earn My Life, because that one's a little dark. Not dark, but it gets a little real. For me. I love it. This one... This one's Reaganomics. This one's funny. how much he parodies like the government in his songs like there's a whole song about I think Bill Watergate and oh my god it's 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 kind of funny how he how he treats those topics like they're kind of not serious but they're semi-serious topics but he, he loves poking fun at them Saving baby, deregulating baby, I'm Ronald Reagan baby. This is 
a bit of a more baby blue. Just a little. This is a very rough. We're just putting shit down. Because it, it's a wild color palette to work with, but now that I'm seeing it down, I'm like, this isn't the worst. This isn't as bad as I thought it was. It's not the best, but... Sometimes blocking out color is just really nice to do. I actually might stop soon to take a little me break. Because I have been- oh my god, it's been two and a half hours. I don't think I've drawn in a while and lost track of time. Like, I usually, like, I'll get tired and it'll only have been an hour. And I'll just have run out of ideas. Did we already listen to this song? I think we did. Or no, we haven't, but I want Pizza Heroes. Immediate energy. <laughs> and after this, we're doing Knife Fight. <laughs> because, oh boy. Always deliver. Always deliver. Rain or snow, no time we're good to go. Like a white or straight or gay, we always deliver, we always deliver, we always deliver, we always deliver. Nope. 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 Where's knife fight? The Adobe. Oh my god, there's so many updates. I'm gonna minimize that to remind myself to update that after stream. Now that I've colored it, it definitely looks more- it reads more rat than raccoon somehow. I say somehow. I know how. Honestly, I think I'm fine with that. Sharp knife. 
I'm a crazy son of a bitch. I'm a cut you. Swish, swish. I can't tell if I want the tail to also be split down the middle or if I just. Like, hear me out. My knife is super sharp, and that's what counts. I'm gonna make you bleed copious amounts. Knife fight. Knife fight. Knife fight. Knife fight. Knife fight. Knife And I like that it's vaguely Pokemon. I think that might be why I like the beat of this song. I think... I think that's probably better than splitting it down the middle. Because splitting it down the middle would be super complicated to draw at different angles and everything. I don't think I want that. Alright. So that's... We're gonna put the colors... Or I will eventually... Like... I'll, I'll eventually get this more cleaned up. But as far as the colors go, you know what? I I made a whole ass like anthro version. However, <laughs> all right, we're gonna skip we're gonna skip the dialogue of knife fight, even though I do love it. We're gonna skip that. Uh oh, there's so many oh, the Bill Watterson song. There's so many good songs. You know what? I have a likes all the way down this album. He also has one of the few Christmas albums that I'm like, you know what, this one song, uh, SAD, Seasonal Affective Disorder, I can listen to that year round. Like, that song's really good. Um, I think I'm gonna stop here. That's why I stopped the music, for one. Um... I think I actually do kind of hold on hold on hold on bear with me bear with me duplicate uh and then we're gonna nope that's not it there you are Wait a minute. Oh, right, right, right. Because I have that. So this is what it looks like in black and white. It actually looks very balanced. This is like how you're generally supposed to balance like tones. And I, I made these colors without balancing them. Because I don't usually balance my colors. That's not a thing I usually do. I should. Uh, but a character should look good in black and white, generally. And you know what? You can actually tell most of these features apart pretty distinctively, despite the color chaos. It actually has a very good black and white thing going on, even if you like... Like, even if you get rid of the lines, you can still tell where everything is by color alone. So yeah, I think I balanced that okay. 
gonna delete the black and white layer. Um, I think, honestly, yeah. Yeah. I might go through with this more cartoony little, because I've, I've always been a cartoonist at heart. I love simplifying things. When I can simplify things, I do simplify things. I like drawing little cute things. This little, this little rat right here, this little rat coon, which looks more like a really fucked up dra <laughs> radioactive rat. Uh, I like it. It's funky. It's real funky. I think I'm keeping it. And I might make like a little model for it. I don't know how I'm going to include the fucked up teeth, but maybe the teeth is how I move away from rat into more raccoon. I just have little sharp teeth. And that's it. Hmm. That's something to chew on for me, because I've been drawing for almost three hours now. And I think I want to take a break. Give my sciatic a little stretch. But yeah, no, this was uh, very fulfilling for a very impulsive stream idea. Let me move my mouse away from the action. So yeah, this is definitely... Like, this would be like... Because uh, like I said that my model, my little clown muse, is a shape-shifting creature of origin. One of the things it can do is shapeshift into animals. The animal it would probably shapeshift into would be this little guy. So this would be like the animal form that I think it would take. And then I do still want a more horrific form for October. I, I think I might try to keep that one under wraps and not have that one be public. Just so I can... I can, uh, you know, reveal it. It'll be mostly for me, anyway, because <laughs> I just, I like spooky. I like spooky thing. But yeah, no, I actually, I like, I like the direction this, this went in. I don't know how I got here, but sometimes it's how art be. You don't know how you get there, but it's, it's, it's a nice journey. And you get some shit done. Oh boy, my uh, my girlfriend is going to hate the colors on this thing, though. She's going to be like, what the fuck? What's going on? Because at least on my scrimble, there's a lot of white to balance it out. The colors aren't perfectly split everywhere. It's just the top part of the face and the hair. On this, it's the whole body is split. So even simplistic little areas look really complicated. And it's interesting as hell. <laughs> but yeah. Alright. I'm gonna stop. I'm, I'm gonna stop here. I would like to thank everyone that came out to see me draw on a complete whim. Simply because I didn't stream yesterday. I had time today. My housemates were out for at least a little while. I'm gonna eat this pretzel that's been sitting here for like two hours. It's probably not going to taste good anymore. But you know what? I'm going to eat it anyway. And I'm generally probably just going to watch YouTube and enjoy my time. But this is nice. This is very de-stressing. I still got to stretch my sciatic. Oh, my sciatic is reminding me that it exists. Oh, I have the body of an old man. Ah! Let me see who I can raid before I... Before I crumble into dust over here. Let's see. Yeah, and then as far as future streams, I won't be streaming tomorrow, but I will be on other people's streams. Probably at least like five different people's streams, honestly, tomorrow. Um, <gasps> Lunar started playing. <laughs> Lunar started playing Mario Kart. We are going to raid Lunar.
No, that's not how you spell her name. Alrighty. Yeah, Lunar is gonna be facing off in Mario Kart against her boyfriend. It's gonna be very funny. I'm gonna trash talk both of them. But also encourage both of them, because I'm friends with both of them. <laughs> Except I will be rooting for my best friend, Lunar. Alright. Y'all have a good night. Y'all chill. I'ma head out.